Welcome to the Slime Isekai world. I don't actually know the name of the world, but this is a world that is presented in the Slime Isekai whatever it is anime. A mini version. I have a bigger version, but for now we'll have to work with this one. So, uh, yeah. Welcome back to Warbox World Domination. I will explain to my uh, new audiences what is the rule set that we're working with here. So basically, I put down the kingdoms, or the kingdom have already been put down already. Allows them to, I allow them to um, expand to the utmost of their territories. Basically, you know, every single pixel colonized, except for you know these tiny bits that doesn't really matter. And of course, I allow the kingdom to, f I mean, the culture of, of each kingdom to flourish to the maximum level, except for perhaps kingdoms that have, does not hold any more territories. Uh, at that point, they will just be left alone. Anyway, with a switch for diplomacy from events on, the kingdom will start to declare war with each other. In the end, there should be one single kingdom left, or two, who knows, because, you know, we still have island kingdoms. Um, the single kingdom left surviving should be the winner, the world dominator, if you will. And yeah. I feel like, um, well, Here's a little bit of tangent. I feel like uh, I should have, I should be waiting, you know, for the um, like the island, all of the map with island stuff. I will probably try and wait until the new update for that, because the new update does revamp the war system, where. You know, when kingdom when a kingdom declare war, it's not gonna be just like you know one v one. It's gonna be um, you know alliance versus alliance. So you know, with alliance becoming like a thing, you can have like you know different kingdom from other locations that does not you know have uh, direct border actually get dragged into a war, which I would say it um, is a lot better and must need upgrade for the current system of war because the current system basically ignore any sort of kingdoms that are not bordering with any other kingdom of the same race basically okay I'll uh, you know speed up the time Now, of course, uh, here we have the Holy Ruberian Empire, pretty big, but still dwarfed by the Sorceress Sarian Dynasty, which have a lot of extraterritorial ter colonies here. The Beast Kingdom Eurasania is also not to be undef uh, under, you know, rated, underrated, as, you know, they are an Orc Kingdom. In this game, and orc are pretty overpowered with increased health and regeneration. Now, of course, a human does have the advantage of having quite a lot of people spread out by three kingdoms here: with Holy Ruberian Empire, Eastern Empire, and uh, the island of El Dorado here in the southwest. Why have the kingdom not declared war yet? Diplomacy is on. They should be declaring war. Well, if they have yet to do anything, I will activate Sonic Speed. This should act as a. Oh, this should, you know, speed up the time flow and. Uh, there we go. And now we turn off. The, East, the Beast Kingdom, as expected, 
has been the first to declare war, this time against the Eastern Empire. Orcish troops have already been spotted inside of the capital of Eastern Empire here. This battle is raging on near the border. Several buildings have been destroyed, mostly on the side of, well, totally on the side of uh, the Eastern Empire. Beast Kingdom Jurisjania have also kind of snatched several tile of land here. Oh, look at this. This southern flank is breached. Man, building after building getting destroyed. To the you can see Holy Ruberian Empire is declaring, is battling against a sorceress dynasty, the Elven dynasty, basically. Oh, look at this! Magnificent. These two troops are pretty heavily uh, armed as well. Now, if you look on the map here, the uh, sorceress dynasty is also connected to the Beast Kingdom in the, in the Northern Island. And it seems that with this mountain range, it's a little bit difficult to... Uh, well, it's impossible to cross within the border, but the archers from the Elven Kingdom have the advantage that they can attack across the mountain itself. And the Beast Kingdom does not have any sort of archer unit. I mean, they do, but you know they are not trained. Like so, they are more of a berserker kind of army. They've destroyed this farm here, which means this village will slowly starve to death. Back in the main continent, we see that the Eastern Empire has completely... Well, it hasn't been completely defeated, but the rest of the kingdom, or... Babies, children, they're not going to be able to fight against the mighty beast kingdom. El Dorado, I expect it, has stayed off, has stayed out of any sort of conflict. In the main continent, it seems that the Holy Ruberian Empire is uh, taking their hold as the, you know, main kingdom on the continent here, despite the. Beast Kingdom still existing. The Sorceress Syrian Dynasty has been completely isolated here on the island. The Eastern Empire still have some chance of winning. Well, not winning, but you know, surviving. If they manage to um, just kill the, you know, the raging berserker of of the Beast Kingdom here, the Uhe. Uh, is it, can the king defeat him? No, he's chasing the king and he's dead. Well, Beast Empire, uh, good, good job, good job. They've done very well. Now, where are these guys going? The Holy Ruberian Empire. They, oh, they still have, they're still having some conflict against the Sorcerer Syrian Dynasty. So these troops might be invading the Northern Island. Wow, they, they're still boarding, huh? How much people are in here? It's 
the Beast Kingdom after the Age of War should have enough time to prepare for the next one. Holy Ruberian Empire does look very strong after all, but you know. Do remember about this regeneration stat? I mean, trait of the orcs. Alright, the last four human here. Oh, these guys are from El Dorado. They're setting up a new colony. This will bring them into the world of... Uh, a world of conflict, you might say. Alright. Well, we'll leave them be. As, uh... So, Holy Ruberian Empire... Still... You guys are still not done? Wow, it's taking... Uh, you're taking your... Sure, it's taking their sweet, sweet time, huh? This guy just shooting arrows at... Randomly. Eastern Empire was destroyed. Beast Kingdom has declared war against the human from Holy Ruperian Empire. And here they come marching in. Now these guys are preparing to invade Sorceress Syrian Dynasty, so there's not going to be any troops defending this, this kingdom. They, they are in danger. The Beast Kingdom sure know how to pick a time to invade. What is... What is going on? Hang on. You see this? Do you see this? See what is... Yeah, see? See that? The tower is shooting at like a, a, a fly. I don't know for what reason. I've never seen such behavior. And the fly is not taking any damage, so I don't think it's actually shooting a projectile. It's more like it is spotting the fly, you know, it's like spotting it. Anyway, Ruberian Empire not doing so good. Uh, the majority of the troops are... I have no idea where they are currently. I cannot see them on the map. Perhaps they are all on this ship. Yep. Yep. All of the army is inside the ship, not doing anything. Sorceress Syrian Dynasty also taking heavy damage here from the Beast Kingdom. Apparently taking on several kingdoms at once is actually feasible. The village, the new El Dorado village has also taken, I mean, been destroyed here. And uh, it seems that El Dorado have invited in. A bunch of uninvited guests from Beast Kingdom. They will probably show up on the island soon enough. Oh, here comes a king. Oh my, look at that giant, huh? And look at here. The ship is also getting uh, harassed mind you this ship carries the entire army of the uh, Ruberian Empire so uh, you know if they if they die it's gonna be a big deal now I don't know why these guys have yet to depart I mean not depart but like you know uh, you know go back onto the shore to defend well they left their king die Good strategic decision, as always. Oh, finally, we see the Ruberian Empire fighting back. 
Not sure. Wait, that's not even the Rubiri Empire. That's the Eldoradan. The Eldoradan are fighting on behalf of the Rubirian Empire. Yeah, useless army you have here. Well, I guess uh, the Eldoradan is pretty successful. Meanwhile, Sorceress Syrian Dynasty does not look to be doing so well. Most of the building have been destroyed. I don't see any sort of civilian left. Well, that's that guy just like dropped there and then died. Oh no. Okay. Rubirian Empire does not look to be doing so well. Oh, Eldoradan might be able to just snatch this whole... Snatch this location whole if they were to declare war, but right now they aren't. Not much happening over here, except for this one guy. You guys are still fighting near the Colosseum. It's not a Colosseum, it's a barrack. Near the barrack. Pretty interesting how the king of the Holy Ruberian Empire is the only one fighting. Oh. Finally, we see the Holy Ruberian Empire army fighting back against the, the Beast Kingdom. Took quite some time. You guys are letting this one dude break in the formation here. Cool, cool spatial awareness. And then we have this sniper over here. Simultaneous battle. That barracks has been destroyed. Thus causing the collapse of the entire city. And it seems that the Eldorado army has been completely eradicated by this single... With, with one single soldier from the Beast Kingdom surviving. Oh, this guy. He's just taking like a whole cannon shot to the face. Man versus, I mean, Orc versus Cannon, and Orc win. His mission, destroy. Uh, regroup, he finally saw another person. Where will he go next? Ah, uh, over here, because that's like a half-built building. There are still 77 soldiers left on this uh, ship over here, which is... I'm still very curious what they are. Oh, there we go. Finally, after the ship got destroyed, this guy burst open like a piñata. Well, more like a, like a Trojan horse. Oh, finally. Agak is back and he's... Ready to kill. And wow, he is doing some work here. About to get that 100 kill count. He's like a one-man army. And 
then it seems that the entire kingdom of Holy Ruberian Empire was, I mean, the entire empire has been destroyed. The Eldraden are here, and they're currently bullying this, uh, this little orc. Beast Kingdom still stand very strong. Syrian Dynasty somehow still is. Still exist. Haha, ah, because because this ship. Alright, let's uh, let's speed up. Oh, El Garden. Troops spot on the main continent. Will they be able to? Why is it? Why is this cat just keep following? Okay. No, it kills a cat. Oh, God damn it! All right. Well, the Eldraden troops got stopped very quickly. And uh, in the meantime, we can see that the invasion of Eldorado has also. Ex have also, you know, been carried out. I don't know if... Hang on, I think the music is a little bit loud today. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear my shitty voice. Ah, yes. Setting your last ditch effort in a suicide mission. Clever. The entire kingdom has been destroyed. The last one standing, Sorcerer Sarian Dynasty, complete with 33 people on this ship and uh, three more in God knows where. Perhaps on the other ship? No, no, not really. As soon as you break this, oh come on! Why you why do you kill that penguin? Come on, man! The penguin ain't doing no harm. As soon as this ship get destroyed, I think the entire kingdom is just gonna like burst. Either that, or all of the uh, passenger here, all of the sailor. Are going to die of old age. Oh, finally they spotted, they spotted the ship. Ah, oh, not, not close enough for them to shoot. These guys are stranded here on the island. And if no colony setting is gonna be set up here, well, they gotta starve until uh, you know someone boards them out of there, and you know. All right, this is taking some time here since this ship is currently causing a lot of trouble. Hopefully the troops on land will be able to spot this thing soon. Well, we shall wait until something happens. Oh, 
Oh, this guy spotted a tower that's still standing. Good, good. Go south, go south. Go south, please. All right, never mind. Thirty-four is the number of uh, of guys in this ship is slowly falling as they die of old age. No, don't board the ship. What are you doing? Oh, finally. And that village was destroyed. And now this watchtower here is um, fulfilling the, the role of ship destroyer. You know, land-based cannon kind of thing. Come on. How much health do you have? 30. How does a ship have one kill? Also, the kingdom is back online again. And this time it's not hostile. But, since this dude are going to starve anyway, so... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna speed up here because uh, they're not gonna be able to declare war by themselves without any capacity to rebuild anything. 28 elves. 27, 26, 25, 23, <clears throat> 13, 11. Eight, six, four, three. Hopefully, nobody in here is immortal. Nope, he's old. Two, one. You're the last person. The last elf left to die, for he has no capability to make his own food, nor to hunt for food, because he's an idiot. And he is dead. Congratulations to the Beast Kingdom. Jurazania. They have successfully claimed the entire world. Alright, but that's gonna be it uh, for this uh, episode today. I hope that you guys enjoy this smaller map. Small but quite interesting. Uh, predictably, the orc did win. But. In the beginning, it seems like uh, the human does have a better chance to win had they not gone for the orc immediately. I say it, I mean, not the elves immediately. I say that because if the human were to attack other human and unite themselves into one single kingdom, then they might be able to overrun the, the orcs. But, you know, that's, that's, that's how it goes sometimes in this game, so, you know. Anyway, so uh, if you like it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more World Box, World Domination, or similar content. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.